What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Okay, guys. Trucker Harley from TikTok is back again. And she's here to talk about, you know, choosing a CDL school for you guys. You don't have to be stressed out searching for a trucking school. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What's up, you guys? It's Trucker Harley back with another video. And I'm going to talk to you guys about CDL school. I see a lot of you guys going through all these YouTubes, asking all these questions. What CDL should I go to? What's the best school? What's this? What's that? Listen, it is not that serious. It is not that complicated. Pick a school and go, okay? The only thing that you need to take into consideration is if a school is driving distance from where you live, okay? Because you can go home every day. You don't have to stay in a hotel. You don't have to stay out of state. You can be with your kids. She's right. She's right. And I, you know what? You don't have to necessarily choose a trucking school out of state. If you take the time and do your research, you can find community colleges, trucking schools, that's in your area. You know, for me, Tri-C Trucking Academy was right down the street and I had the option of doing night classes. See, when you find and choose a trucking school that's in your area, then you can, you, you got options to either go to school during the day, going to school during the night, or go to school during the weekend. Those options are available to you. And for people that are still working, you know, that don't want to give up their job or anything like that, you can, if you work during the day, you can go at night. If you work at night, you could go during the day or you could just choose to go to a school on the weekend. Just know that if you go to school at night and or the weekend, you might have to be there a little, just a little bit longer as if you was to go you know, during the day. So if it's a four week program, nights might be a five week program. And if you go on the weekend, it might be like a six or seven week program. But when you're choosing to go to these schools, that will be one of, one of the consideration of the area that you choose to. Now, the flip on the back side of that, if you choose to go to a trucking school that is sponsored by you know, a trucking company, then of course you're going to have to, you know, figure it, figure it out whether you want to give up your job for four weeks or whatever the case to go to that school out of state. That's something to think about. Let's get back at it. Kids and your family, why you going to a uh, trucking school, okay? If you can't do that, it don't really matter where you go, okay? Hypothetically speaking. So um, just pick a school and go. It doesn't matter if one school is 5000 or one school is 10000 Let me tell you something. All these schools... Hold up. <laughs> Hold up now. Yeah, it, I, it does matter. <laughs> Sorry, Trucker Hardy, but it, it does matter if you paying out of pocket. Now, if you, if you're not paying out of pocket and say, if you get a grant or use credit or whatever the case, or if the trucking company itself is going to pay for it, then yeah. But if it's out of pocket, that might, <laughs> that might be something that people might want to think about if whether or not they want to pay 10,000 or 5,000 for a school. We'll have contracts, okay? So basically between six months and two years, if you stay with them for whatever their contract is, depending on the school, they are going to cancel out the fee anyway. But if you like me, you just don't give a fuck. When you finish with the school, you still don't got to pay them back, okay? I didn't, all right? I'll of course, it's going to be on your credit report. I'm sure she's about to mention that, but if you don't pay it back, they're going to come after you. Uh, there are forgiveness uh, programs out there. There's also, you know, uh, bankruptcy <laughs> that's out there. But lo and behold, they will come back for that money. They're not going to take your license, but they're going to they're going to hound you for that money. All they're going to do, is it going to go on your credit? You best to know it. But 
they have too many uh, loan forgiveness programs where you can get that right off within your first two years and going about your business. Don't let nothing stop your bag, okay? They cannot take your CDL back. Once they give it to you, it is yours. So don't worry about the cost of going to CDL school. Just get into school, complete the course, get on the road, and you can figure out the rest of that on the back end. Just go get this money. Go and grab the money. See, everybody keeps telling you, Hey, you know, come out here. Come and get the bag. Come and get the money. Go to CDL school. Get your CDLs. Listen, I'm not going to be the one to tell you to go to CDL school. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be the one to say, yo, make, you know, make other decisions. Getting your CDLs is, is not the, it is not always the it. You know, everybody else want to just say, yo, come out here. Get your CDL. You can make money and all like that. But you know what? You want to know what is needed out here other than truck drivers? You want to know what's needed? You want to know what's really needed out here? Diesel mechanics. You can make more money going to school for diesel mechanics than anything. Even though they saying, yo, come out here and drive the truck, we're going to need people to fix it. We're going to need people to fix the trucks. We need more diesel mechanics out here because it's not enough diesel mechanics out here to fix the truck. And that's what I would suggest that you guys go to school for. Forget going to school to uh, get your CDLs because when you go to diesel mechanic, you're going you're gonna to probably end up going to get your CDL anyway because you have to drive the trucks in the yard. You have to move it and all that other stuff. But still, though, diesel mechanic, that's, that's the ticket right there. That's what you guys should go and get. Diesel mechanic. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real white, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, and yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, sip on my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me, cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you no?